You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Good morning, guys, and welcome back to More Than Cars. I have just spent the last probably hour trying to fit some windows, but not to the McLaren, and I'm absolutely still well in love with the orange. I think, I think it looks fantastic, and I'm in a serious debate about going orange for the next one. So, yeah, it's causing me not sleepless nights at the moment, but I am definitely, definitely considering changing it. And a lot of you guys have got in comments and on my Instagram and actually saying you really like the orange. And obviously, this is cheaper. Going orange is a hell of a lot cheaper than my purple. So that potentially means that I could get some more carbon. That's a big consideration for me at the end. Anyway, today is not talking about this fantastic bit of kit, but we're talking about the Renault Twizzy. The Twizzy is back to the channel. And I'll have to say, I've just spent a good hour trying to fit the Renault, or not the Renault windows. These are meant to be better because they seal, seal you in the cabin a little bit more effectively. And well, I, I can't figure out how to fit them at all. So I'm gonna walk you through what you're meant to do. And I uh, don't worry, I've contacted the guy um, and he's gonna send me a bit more detailed instructions. And he thinks that it's something to do with the effectively 18 plate uh, Renault Twizy. He thinks they've changed how the doors look. So he said he'll sort it out for me, it's not a problem. But I'll just explain how these are meant to fit um, if you've got an older Renault Twizy. So basically they come as a perspect panel that's all nicely protective so, so that you don't scratch it um, and it has if we look these cutouts that are meant to slot into the car so if we go over and I'll turn the camera around so you can see look at the beautiful twizzy in front of the McLaren <laughs> isn't it absolutely hilarious how small this thing is but it's got scissors doors so it's immensely cool Right, anyway, let's put the door down and excuse the dirt on this thing. It, uh, as you know, I made my Christmas special and I honestly haven't actually cleaned it yet. But this thing's awesome. I absolutely love it. And the battery, it's not been on charge for about, well, over a month actually, and it stayed at 100%, so I'm quite impressed. Right, anyway, back to doors and windows. If we look at the inside, it's got these kind of star bits here. One, two, and the third one, is behind. What you're meant to do is unscrew these. Obviously, you, you actually use a, a tool for this, and I had these unscrewed a minute ago. But you unscrew these five turns according to the instructions, and you effectively pull pull apart. If we look at the, you pull apart the sill and the. Uh, oh, when the camera focuses, uh, are we going to focus? We're not going to focus. So it doesn't matter. You pull apart the sill and you slot the perspect glass or plastic in between. And if I hold this up to the door, this is actually the left one, so we'll scoot around here. It is meant to sit something like that, sealing you in the cabin, but leaving you a nice little hand hole to get your hand in to open the doors. But unfortunately, I cannot figure out how these possibly slot in. And as you can see, I have slightly scraped this trying, where the camera focuses, trying to actually get the, um, the the perspex in between these two panels that's why i've dropped him an email because i really don't want to scratch scratch this uh, plastic any more than i i need to um but yeah that is an hour wasted trying to do that and they do say specifically do not unscrew all of these all the way and i was getting frustrated and i did unscrew them completely out and I did have to spend a good 10 minutes actually lining the hole back in to get it in but for the life of me I cannot get this this gap wide enough and we're going to focus yep this gap wide enough to actually slot the plastic in that is a really small space and there seems to be a little plastic behind that as well but he thinks that is a new addition on the newer the newer Twizzies. Um, if anybody knows how to fit Twizzy windows, or if I'm just being a spaz, please get in the comments below and do tell me, because I, well, like I said, that, that's a good hour and I've not actually managed 
to uh, fit my windows. I was hoping to start using this in some of our, um, well, slightly brighter days. Um, but if it rains, I, I, I really want some windows on it. Um, so they've arrived, I've got them. I just uh, cannot figure out how to uh, pop them on. Oh, what do you say? What do you think? Anyway, my next conundrum at the moment for the Renault Twizy, and actually this comes on to uh, the McLaren as well, the colour. What, what are we going to do? I did say, like a typical car YouTuber, as a joke, I was going to wrap the Twizy. Now that's where the problem is. Do we go orange to match the Mac, or potentially spider, or do we go purple? On the Twizy, this is. I mean, the conundrum's still out there for the uh, McLaren, but what colour and how do we wrap a Twizy? I've spoke to a couple of wrapping companies, one of which who's actually already wrapped a Twizy. They seem pretty confident, and because of the size of it, it, it really doesn't cost a lot of money, so we can go all out. We, do we wrap the plastic here, or do we just wrap the kind of shiny, kind of body-coloured? Do we go for a two-toned effect or, or not? I was, my initial thoughts, obviously, I was going to wrap this purple. Um, and obviously my car is themed purple and orange. So was I going to do purple here and put a orange stripe down it? But now the fact that I'm living with a orange McLaren for the time being, it really does look fantastic and it gets more attention. It is certainly brighter, especially when dirty. And if you look at this, I have been using this. It's really not showing up well on the camera, but it is filthy. I've done a good 700 miles in this thing. Um, all the carbon deposits on the exhaust looking lovely there. Um, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Not a, Thankfully, not a fault <laughs> in sight. It is performing absolutely outstandingly, and I'm loving it, loving every minute. And it gets far more attention than the purple. And I really didn't think that would be possible because I thought purple was very out there. And quite honestly, you, you don't see many purple cars, but orange definitely gets more attention on the motorway. So do we go orange with a Renault Twizy? How, how would you do it? Should we do, obviously it's got the uh, glass kind of bottom bottom bit. Do we wrap that as well? Or do we literally just stick with the doors? I'm, I don't know at the moment. I'm a bit intrigued, really. If anybody wants to do me like a mock-up drawing or some form of ideas, please, please let me like do them for me and send them over because I'm stumped at the moment how best to design it. Do we go changing the colours colour of the alloys? Because obviously I had it specced all in black because I thought black would be easier to wrap because of the if the edges weren't perfect you wouldn't notice it as much. Um, but yeah, the, the orange has properly thrown a, a spanner into the works really, and I'm not quite sure what to do. Um, my mirrors have folded in. But uh, this thing's great, by the way. I have actually used it. Not that you've seen it on the channel, but I have actually taken it for a, a couple of spins around uh, recently. And it, it is, for the money, again, absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, you think a orange McLaren gets a lot of attention, but really, this thing, this thing gets just, just as much. And it's such a laugh to drive. Um, I'm still getting used to the electric. The electric is uh, really quite... Uh, odd, odd, and obviously I've never been in a Tesla or anything like that, and I think that would be an interesting experience to try, actually, a true electric performance car. But, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it at the moment, but I have several conundrums. One, obviously, please do let me know if you know how to uh, fit these windows, because I, <laughs> I am struggling immensely. Um, and also, let me know what you think to colour schemes, because it's got to go in, well, the next four weeks, actually. We've got four weeks to decide. Um, that's the slot they've given me for doing it for a couple of days. Um, they said two, three days for it to be done, but at the moment, I haven't picked what I want on it. So any interesting ideas to make this funky and stand out, please do let me know. Um, as I'm stumped, absolutely stumped. But yeah, McLaren... Twizy, McLaren Twizy, what a perfect combination. And both 
doors that go up. Let's uh, just do it for the photo. One door and two door and the McLaren. Really can't beat the theatre of a, uh, a door that opens upwards. That's one. And that is two. Oh, the presence of this thing in orange. I'm, I love it. Really do love it. And the Twizzy. <laughs> orange Twizzy, purple Twizzy. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. I, I've loved the fact that the channel has seemed to have um, kind of grown a lot, actually, in the last uh, week or so. Well, two weeks, really. Um, thanks very much. Again, I can't thank you guys enough. Obviously, Rybrook for lending me the orange one. I'm, I'm loving it. And again, the spec has really thrown me out to what I'm going to choose for my, my spider. Um, but please, guys, get in the comments. Let me know what you think I should do with this Renault Twizzy in the sense of wrapping it um, for the summer. Uh, and obviously, please let me know if you know how to fit the glass or the plastic windows, because, like I said, wasted an hour of my day today. Um, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. It means so much that I can, I'm seeing it grow, basically. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.